When you feel a lump, the first thing you'll think about is, is this lump a cancer? And of course, this is something that most people fear when they find a breast lump. You think of the worst case scenario. And of course, that is just human nature and just natural. The thing is, if that was true, then everyone I see in clinic with breast lumps will be having operations because they all have breast cancer. And of course, this is not the case at all. Not all breast lumps are cancers. And today, I'm going to be talking about one of the commonest causes of non-cancerous breast lumps, which are also known as breast cysts. So, what are breast cysts? Are they cancerous? Or can they cause cancer? Breast cysts are essentially small sacs that have their own definitive lining and usually filled with fluid. Cysts are commonly found within the breasts. In fact, cysts are found in many different parts of the body. The ovaries, the lungs, the liver, the kidney, pancreas, to name but a few. So who do they affect? Breast cysts can affect anyone really, young or old. However, for the breasts, they're commonly found in women between 30 and 50 years old. What causes them? We know that breast cysts occur due to the normal hormonal fluctuations that happen through a woman's cycle. And there's nothing you've done to cause them really. And there, unfortunately, nothing you can do to prevent them from forming. How do they present? Many women have cysts and don't actually even know about them. And that's because these cysts can be so small that you won't be able to feel them from the outside. But if a cyst becomes large enough, then it would present as a breast lump. And it's not uncommon for women to come to see me with a story of how they found a breast lump that usually appears out of nowhere. And this is not an unusual presentation of a breast cyst. Clinically, they feel round, have well demarcated edges, they are soft and mobile. And we will usually confirm it with imaging that can include a mammogram and or an ultrasound scan. Are they painful? Well, if they are large enough, then they can cause discomfort. Unlike breast cancer, where the majority of time it is a painless lump, breast cysts can be slightly uncomfortable. How do you treat them? Breast cysts can be safely left alone. This is especially true if we find cysts incidentally on scans when they are so small that we can't feel them. It's not uncommon for cysts to come and go, and they fluctuate depending on the hormonal cycle. So a cyst may be present one day and gone the next, and in fact, around 70% of breast cysts will resolve spontaneously. But if the cyst is quite large and is causing discomfort, then we may deflate it by aspirating the fluid with a needle and syringe. The thing is, it's not uncommon for these cysts to refill again, and so aspirating a cyst is not done routinely. In addition, it may increase the risk of infection, which is of course something we don't want to happen. Can cysts turn into cancers? Cysts do not turn into cancers, and that's why we are very confident in leaving them alone. Cancers, however, can create cysts, and so if we see a solid component close to or within a cyst, we may do a biopsy to exclude other pathology. But cysts themselves do not turn into cancers. So should I worry about risks of breast cancer if I have breast cysts? Having breast cysts does not increase your risk of breast cancer. The thing to be aware of, though, is if you are someone who is prone to getting breast cysts, you need to be breast aware and know what your normal is. If you find a lump in your breast, you can't assume it to be a cyst and you must get it checked out. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one.